Good Saturday morning. I'm headed out to the airport. We're gonna go do some work in the hangar today. Uh, the weather right now is is looking overcast. Um, it's, it's flyable, certainly uh, VFR, low clouds, uh, but I do have some work to do in the hangar. Um, unfortunately, I'm on the injured list at the moment. Uh, I was pulling a Cessna 172, of all things, down from our interior shop to our maintenance shop uh, about a week and a half ago. And of course, I uh, did something to my back. I felt it uh, tense up about halfway through uh, where I was headed. And sure enough, that next day, um, it hurt and it hurt bad down my leg. I went and got an MRI. The MRI showed that I had a, a very bad herniated disc. Uh, yesterday I got a shot. Um, I'm not a fan of needles, uh, but they did a, did a good job. Uh, they did give me a, a twilight anesthesia, uh, put me out for the shot. And apparently I was talking about airplanes and uh, getting back into the cockpit with the, uh, with the surgeon. Uh, but the shot went well. Uh, I still have a good bit of pain, but it's uh, reduced about 50%, so I think it's good enough to get back out into the hangar, and I'm going to uh, go do a few things. We've got a very, uh, very big week coming up, uh, both at the airport and, and personally for me. On uh, Tuesday, something really cool at the airport's happening. More to come on that later. I can't say anything about it now. Uh, but it, uh, it involves the airport, it involves the Beach 18, and hopefully uh, uh, I'll be able to bring you guys along with that. Uh, on uh, Friday night, Friday night and Sunday night, uh, we're doing a night photo shoot at the airport for a bunch of different airplanes, and uh, that should be uh, really cool. Can't wait to see uh, uh, the photographs that come out of that, so stay tuned, more to come there. Uh, but today I gotta go get the beach cleaned up for what's happening on Tuesday. I've got a, a GDL 50, which we're gonna be talking about on the uh, Garmin side of things to install as a little upgrade in the Cessna 150. Uh, flying in today's airspace, uh, there's especially in the Northeast, there's a lot of traffic. And uh, that aircraft is, is well equipped. It's got a GTN 650XI Navigator. Uh, two G5s and a Garmin autopilot, but the transponder is still the old Narco unit, which actually works really well. Um, and I have a uh, Louis Avionics uh, tail beacon that does, um, you know, make it so it's compliant for ADSB out. Uh, but not having ADSB traffic and weather in is uh, is a major concern for me, especially flying in all the other aircraft that I fly in that do have traffic. I sort of feel naked without it. Yes, I'm looking out the window. Yes, I'm seeing and avoiding. However, uh, the ADSB traffic, XM traffic, and weather uh, are all really nice uh, safety features that I highly recommend. And then also uh, with Alyssa, we're gearing up. Uh, she's working on navigation and communication, talking to ATC. So we're going to do the Hudson Corridor. Um, so we're going to be talking to uh, Philadelphia, New York, and certainly would love to have traffic installed just for that flight because as we all know that gets to be a very hectic and busy area so every little bit helps so we'll uh we'll get here to the airport going out to the hangar and you know what i might go for a little flight uh before i start working on cleaning airplanes we'll see you soon everyone welcome back Today we're diving into something I'm really excited about, unboxing and talking about why I'm installing a Garmin GDL50 in November 2629 or Juliet, my Cessna 150. This little airplane has been a perfect platform for teaching my daughter and son, Alyssa and JJ, to fly, but one thing that has been missing is real-time traffic and weather, especially when you're out flying around the busy northeast skies like we do quite often here at New Garden Flying Field, November 5-7. The Garmin GDL50 is a portable ADSB receiver that brings subscription free weather, traffic, GPS position, and attitude information straight to my iPad or panel display through Bluetooth. Inside the box, Garmin keeps it simple. Here's the GDL50 itself, the power cable, the suction mount, and a few documents. Not a lot of fluff, just what you need to get flying. This little thing might not look like much, but what it adds to situational awareness in the cockpit 
is huge. Now, why am I installing this into a Cessna 150? Now, for one, I want both JJ and Alyssa to start learning with the same kind of situational tools they will see in more advanced aircraft. Seeing live traffic, weather radar, and even synthetic vision helps both of them understand the bigger picture of the modern flight. It's all about situational awareness. It's also about safety. The GDL 50 gives me dual band ADS-B in so I can see both 978 and 1090 traffic. That's everything from airliners overhead to local GA aircraft and being able to see incoming weather uh, when we're out just doing pattern work or going on across country, that's certainly peace of mind. Installation is pretty straightforward. I'm gonna mount it securely inside the cabin using a hard wire kit, which I haven't gotten yet. I will order one of those, but uh, Garmin does provide you with this little clip that you can secure to the glare shield, and then the unit will clip into there. That way during steep turns, it's not gonna move um, over the glare shield. There is also a non-slick pad underneath, so if you choose just to, uh, to use it portably from one aircraft to the next, you can just set it right up there. It's probably not gonna slide around most of the time, uh, but it's really convenient to throw into your flight bag and jump in the aircraft of your choice and you will have ADS-B in weather and uh, traffic. I'm gonna do a follow-up video showing the install process and the test flight, uh, but for now, I just wanted to give you a first look and share why I chose to add this into the panel. Again, this is a GDL 50. Garmin does make a 51 and a 52, which will add uh, Sirius XM weather and music if you want. But for me and our purposes in the 150, it's about safety and training. It's just uh, here for traffic and weather. So that's the plan, a little modern situational awareness for a classic trainer. If you're flying a legacy aircraft and would like to have weather and traffic without a huge install project, the GDL 50 is a pretty slick solution. Check it out. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you may have. Everybody, we'll see you up in the air soon. All right, so I've got the, uh, the GDL 50 here. I'm just gonna mount this in the aircraft to test it out initially. I'm just gonna put it up on the glare shield. Uh, as mentioned before, there is a non-stick. There is a non-stick surface uh, underneath the, uh, the device, so it keeps it from sliding around nicely. So I'm just gonna mount this up here, right on the glare shield. Now I also heard it does have an antenna that you can put up, um, but I also heard that you don't need to necessarily keep that up. So we're gonna test that out with the antenna down today and see how it behaves. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna start the aircraft, let the engine warm up, and um, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and uh, get things powered up. We're gonna have to connect the Bluetooth to both the, uh, the iPad and also the audio panel. All right, area is clear. Okay, and oil pressure is coming up in the green. Today's gonna be a great day to check out uh, the GDL 50. We do have some showers in the area. It's actually uh, raining right now. Uh, it is still VFR. Uh, we're gonna stay close to the airport and keep an eye on things, but we also have some airplanes flying around, so it'll be a good test for everybody. staying in the pattern, New Garden. First thing is I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the unit on. On the side here, there's a little power button. I'm just push and hold. And then over on my iPad, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the settings, and then I'm gonna go to the Bluetooth, and I'm gonna turn my Bluetooth off and on, and we'll uh, reset it. And you should see uh, GDL 50 come up. Right there, and it's automatically connects. So that worked out well. I'll get over to four flight. I'm gonna run four flight today. It's already showing the, the rain, that's pretty neat. Um, and there's traffic, wow. That's a airplane that's well above us, so we don't need to worry about that. Here's the aircraft in the pattern, if we tap on it. Tells us uh, 524, that's one of our flight school aircraft. Shows us how high they are off the ground, what they're heading, speed, awesome. Already feels so much better. So let's go out and we're gonna flight check it. Again, I've got the antenna down. We're gonna just keep it right here and we'll see how it behaves right up there on the glare shield. <coughs> now, unfortunately, because uh, of the portable nature of it, the GDL 50 uh, does not port into a panel mount navigator like a GTN 650. So uh, unfortunately, we won't have that information on the, on the uh, panel mount uh, 650, but we've got it right next to it on the iPad. So that will work out. New Garden traffic, sense of 524, turning crosswind, runway 6, New Garden. 
we're using runway six today. The wind's out of the northeast. So we'll, uh, we'll head out, do the long taxi down. My hangar's down on the 2-4 side. I think I get a radio check, 2305. Well, I'm clear. Thank you. So when I fly the Beach 18... Um, shot work. Say again? That's the, the shot work? Uh, about 50%. Enough to uh, feel good enough to be doing this. Enjoy. Thanks for asking. <clears throat> well, as I told you, I've been battling some back issues and uh, got that shot yesterday. I feel I feel perfect right here uh, sitting in the cockpit, and that's not an issue. Full motion with my feet, so I have no issues flying. I don't think I'd go out and run a marathon anytime soon, but as long as I can fly, I feel good. One thing that always bothered me about this airplane, and one thing I always had planned to do, is get some type of ADS-B solution in to be able to get weather and and traffic. I mean, really, traffic is is what I'm looking for. Um, it's nice to have weather, but there are so many little airplanes flying around, big airplanes flying around today, and it's amazing what you can't see out the window. And um, certainly, this is a solution that doesn't. Uh, I mean, you still got to see and avoid, right? You still got to look out the window and uh, spend 90% of your time outside, 10% of your time inside. But it gives you it gives you a, a, another tool in your toolbox uh, to really make flying that much safer. And uh, certainly it's well worth the investment. Uh, the GDL 50, 51, 52, as I talked about before, they give you a little bit of uh, different features. The XM, if you want XM uh, weather and uh, music, uh, which you can play through your, uh, your Garmin Pilot, uh, you will want the GDL 52. And they do have hardwired kits for all the units, so you don't have to worry about the battery life. But the battery life, my understanding, uh, is what is advertised anyway, is pretty phenomenal. Uh, so I don't think that's going to be an issue uh, for most people on most of their flights, just to mount it the way that we have right now portably. And the nice thing is you can throw it in your flight bag when you're done, take it with you, take it home. Um, we actually uh, are going to be installing Your these GDL-50s well, in all the flight school aircraft, um, and we're going to mount them uh, and hardwire hey, them in. You. So anybody coming out to rent one of our flight school airplanes, You're they will have the, uh, the added benefit of traffic and weather on board. All right, left mag checks. Right mag checks. Car Pete, a lot of moisture in the air today, cooler temperatures. I'm actually going to shut my vents. That looks good. All right, altitude set to field elevation today, and the heading bug's going to move over to runway 6, 060. New heart traffic, Techno 5511, final runway 06, New Heart. New Heart traffic, just the 5. All right, GDL's ready. I'm showing a green light on the battery. I got a blue light, which means Bluetooth is on, and GPS is green. Heart traffic, 29 Julius departing 6. Heading on traffic, 290 Juliet's rolling on uh, 6. Comanche is calling for IFR release. Heading on traffic, Cessna 26290 Juliet's left turn out to the uh, north last call. Hi, thanks for the tow. All right, area is nice and clear. It is raining a little bit. I do see, I do see some traffic off to my left. Uh, I see a New rain Garden. cell. Thirty three six off zero to my right. Hotel departing zero six New Garden. It's actually a beautiful day to fly. Or just to see what I'm looking at here. As you can see over here on the traffic, we have some traffic over the airport. New Garden traffic, Comanche is still waiting. And we have us, and off to our right. And off to our right, we have a little bit of a rain shower, which if you look out the window, you can certainly see it. New Garden traffic, uh, Comanche 6874. And I've got, my lights are power's good, i got Bluetooth on, GPS, and ADS-B now is lit up. Northeast inbound landing for one zero at Spokane. 
Guard traffic, this is 524, turning crosswind runway 60 Guard. Uh, about time for is 28 right now. All right, we're going to go to 2,000 feet. And we'll level out at 2,000 feet. I don't have any uh, rain on the windshield at this point. Zulu is entering the left downwind on the 45 for runway 6 on the ground. All right, so the glider club is out in full force this morning. Uh, they're not getting very high with the clouds, but I'm at 2,000 feet. I'm well below the clouds. They're right base. But sometimes gliders are hard to see. But they do have transponders on them, so they are reporting, and I can pick it up now. You can just see. New Guard 3603 Hotel, turning left crosswind, 06 New Guard. Just to give you the idea of the traffic in the area. And again, that, that, that's just all around the airport. Hey, 303 uh, three Hotel, we had to do a 360 for the glider. We're just going to leave the pattern and come back in behind you. And you can see if you tap on the uh, the target, three hotel. It, it'll tell you the end number of the aircraft, what altitude they are, their heading, their speed, which is all great information to have. Turning final runway six on the ground. Antenna's not put up. Everything's working well. It's just sitting on my glare shield. I'm going to do some steep turns to see if it'll stay put. Clear to the right. 3603 Hotel, turning left base, 06 New Garden. And so far it hasn't even budged. And we'll roll back out on a heading of uh, 060. New Garden, 3603 Hotel, turning left final, 06 New Garden. Yep, that's pretty good. Didn't budge. Uh, there you have it. Very easy installation. Garmin GDL50 sitting right up on the glare shield. Hasn't moved at all. Um, it's working flawlessly with my uh, iPad right now into ForeFlight. Obviously, it's going to work with Garmin Pilot as well. It's reporting weather. It's reporting traffic. This is a big win. Very good install. Very good upgrade for the uh, Cessna 150. Um, as you know, uh, Liss has been working on navigation and also uh, uh, talking with uh, controllers. So uh, our next big flight is we're going to do the Hudson Corridor. We're going to talk to uh, uh, we're going to talk to Philadelphia. We're going to talk to New York. Uh, we're going to do the exclusion. So it's going to be a great flight. Certainly wanted to have the 50, the EDSB in information mainly for traffic. Uh, before this flight, a lot of traffic in this area, and especially as you get up further uh, north in towards New York. So every little tool that you have in your toolbox helps. Great improvement, great improvement for the 150. Garmin, great job. If you're interested in one of these, give me a call. Um, you're more than happy to come check this out in the Cessna, see how it works, and uh, decide if it's something for you. Everybody have a great day. We'll see you in the pattern soon. Take care. altitude information straight to my iPad or panel display with Bluetooth.